What's up team? Welcome back to another TV Fit Training Vlog. Let's get in some lower body work today, y'all. Let's just do body weight training, really, okay? We're not gonna use weights. We're not gonna be uh, in here doing barbell back squats, okay? We're just gonna use our body weight and do some calisthenic lower body uh, work. So let's get into it in three, two, one. Right, you guys we are starting out this workout with the duck walk so the key is for this one is you got to stay low I don't want your head bopping up and down you got to work that ground you got to work low okay um, now if this hurts then I would suggest you going up a little bit higher or just maybe not doing this one so be honest with yourself about how you feel on this one because I want you to go heel to toe you're not just walking on your on the balls of your feet. You're going heel to toe, and your knees have to be flexible enough and loose enough, right? The tendons and the ligaments around your knee have to be loose enough to be able to handle this load, okay? Duck walk. Next exercise, we got the shrimp squat. Oh, look at that pain face. It's almost like a pistol squat, um, but the leg is going backwards. It's the same feel with that unilateral Another word for single side at work. Okay, so you're getting that single leg, that single leg work and that balance and control. You're trying to stay on that one foot and ooh, get low. And you're basically trying to let that knee touch, you know, either the ground if you can go all the way down, or I put like a little pad here, a little target. So knee touch and then heel drive up. It's just like you're pushing yourself, squatting up. Okay, so really sit, keep the back as flat as you can, focus on the hip hinge, focus on your balance and control, knee touch, not drop, we're not bouncing, you're touching and pushing right back up, that's where the strength is, okay, and then throw that thing out the way because you're mad, <laughs> just kidding, all right y'all, next thing we got after those shrimp squats, we got the old school prisoner squats, okay, hands overhead, if you can, open up those elbows so you can kind of get that uh, more of kind of an overhead squat feel. That's what I like about this one. If you open up, you, okay, yep, open up and kind of pull those scaps together. You'll kind of feel like you're doing almost a, a, a modified overhead squat, which is way harder than just putting your hands out um, and counterbalancing with, with, your, with your arms and your hands in front of you. Put them over your head, drop it low, push back up. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Get this money, y'all. Get this money. Woo. Okay. Last thing. Let's get explosive. Let's get dynamic with these donkey kicks. Okay. Also, working on the shoulders, working on a little bit of upper body here because we're holding our body weight with our hands. Okay. But I want you guys to focus on that kick. I want you to focus on pushing the hips through. Kind of get that kick. Okay. Open up. Kick. Open up. Kick. Open up, kick, get that glute working, get the hamstrings working, kick. Try not to go into a handstand, it's hard, <laughs> but try not to go into a handstand if you can help it, all right, guys? All right. Okay, guys, so we just finished up with our workout for today. No ways, still felt awesome. A couple of those movements I would not suggest doing unless you have great hip mobility guys so um, if you feel like a little bit of pain like in your hips on that duck walk or that sh single leg shrimp squat or any like knee pain like I would chill out on that or maybe just kind of don't go as low you can still get good work if you just focus on the hip drive back for those and keeping your your spine in the right alignment right like not hunching not arching but just dipping from the hips sinking from the hips with a strong brace core um, you'll be fine Okay, but if you feel knee pain and you're coming forward on your on your on the balls of your feet and you're not able to kind of keep your heels down, then then that's problematic. And I and I want you to kind of skip those or do like those modifications I just told you. Like don't go as low. 
Okay, so it's crazy. Even though those are, you know, this is like body weight movements, it doesn't necessarily mean it's easier than using weights. Like those movements, like duck walks and shrimp squats, those are harder than any any barbell back squat I've ever done. It's harder than any uh, any like machine curl I've ever done. Um, so just understand, like you know, it's all perspective. It's all relative to the actual movement pattern that you're doing, not necessarily the weight. Okay, because that that's a, that's a that could be a hard circuit if you, if you if you move well if you move intentionally like I said in the beginning if you move intentionally through the movements and focus on keep the core engaged focus on driving the hips back right you're sitting in a chair right keeping the spine right from 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 head to tailbone keeping that alignment right we're not arching as you squat you're not hunching but you're able to move with a nice strong core shoulders back eyes up head up. Right, you're able to move. Any, anytime you do anything, you want to move in a way, right, where you're not changing, you're not changing anything in your spine. You're just moving from the hips, and everything else stays put. I hope that makes sense, okay? Because it took me a long time to figure that out. Uh, uh, so I hope you guys can kind of figure it out faster than I did. Um, so yeah, that's the workout. Try it out. Comment below if you if you like it. Like if you if you uh, if you. If you felt like you got a little nice burn in, let me know. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one, right? Make sure you tune back in next week for another workout. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.